So right now we live in a world where everything is connected, the entire world is connected, even where we're sitting right now. Um, these computers are connected to my computers at the office through the internet. And because of that, security is very important. So there's, there's a couple of things that's important um, with regards to this. The first thing is passwords. It's how you authenticate yourself. It's how you authenticate to the bank. It's how you authenticate to Facebook. It's how you authenticate to anything that you're using. So passwords are important because it's supposed to create a digital key between me and the system to provide me with the right access. So using the right password, meaning it must be a long password, it must be a strong password, the word password must not be in the password. Yes, that's all important so that nobody can kind of make as if they are you, mm -hmm. basically. Now you just mentioned long and complicated passwords. Uh, they're asking for eight letters, some digits, some special characters. Why does it have to be this complicated? Why can't I, for example, just use password as a password? Because um, online, it's very easy to guess passwords. You get systems, you get bots and other kind of systems like that, that literally can just kind of guess your password all the time. They can literally run thousands and thousands of queries against your username to try and log into a system. The easier that password is, for example, the word password, which is actually one of the most common passwords used in the entire world, the easier people will gain access to your system. So that's why. Let's be honest here, most of us use two to three passwords, we recycle them, doesn't matter whether it's our banking, Facebook, our email account. It's very complicated to actually remember these long, complicated passwords. Is there any ways to safely store them without having hackers uh, or giving hackers easy access to them? There's a couple of ways to do it. Um, some browsers have got built-in password managers. If you use Apple devices, they've got a keychain, which is a very good system. My personal recommendation is to use a password manager. We at Binary City use one password, which is a system that allows you to create multiple users. You can have vaults and share passwords in there where it's needed. Otherwise, you You use that and then literally every single system that you use will have a different very complicated password that not even you would be able to remember so um, with a password manager you just need to remember one password mm -hmm. and that would literally then unlock all your passwords safely and securely mm -hmm. what are other security measures that i can take uh, when it comes to my password definitely two-step verification two-step verification is quite common nowadays especially with um, systems that access information such as banking information two-step means you've got a password and then something else mm -hmm. so for example you put your password then you get an sms with a special code that you that you must use tuesday verification is a must for any system but i strongly recommend not to use sms where you can and rather use something else like um, there's a system called authy which is basically a code generator you get also google authenticator so basically it would be a code that's on your phone or your computer or wherever and then um, you would access that as your two-step verification mm -hmm. 